effects of extreme heat can have on your pets. Today, Bethany Crouch is talking to Dr. JYL about water intoxication. <laughs> Yep, Dr. JYL. We've got Dr. Jill over with us in studio, and Dr. Jill always brings Diva. She is the mascot of these segments, and you've got my sweet Birkenstocks in the shot. Thanks for that. <laughs> Dr. Jill, we're talking about water intoxication in pets. I mean, we know that on these triple digit days, I mean, today's 99, still really important for our pets to have shade and to have clean drinking water, no matter if they're inside or if they're outside. Right. Um, but one of the things that people may not realize is that pets can get too much of the wrong kind of water. Right, absolutely. There's water intoxication and a lot of people don't realize that if your pet drinks too much water, it can also be detrimental. So some of those symptoms are vomiting, of course, diarrhea, seizuring. Make sure that your pet drinks water. A dog diva size requires about 90 ounces to 100 ounces in a day. So it would be right? three of these bottles. Right, it'd be okay, three of those. So I know my dog Charlie, he likes to go in the backyard and I catch him drinking water from my pool and I always move him away from it and tell him yeah. no and get him to the clean water. But um, it, I mean, that, that can be really dangerous. It can, especially if you put the chlorine in right away. Now, as the chlorine dissipates, it's not nearly as toxic. But one thing people don't realize is when dogs are playing in the pool, they're biting the water and they're swallowing tons of water. Yeah. Or if they're playing with hoses, they can get water intoxicated. So it's really important to monitor that. I mean, a lot of dogs will bite at the water and swallow tons of it, and they dilute themselves out, basically, and it can cause death. And, and they don't realize that they're taking in too much water. They're just having a great time. I mean, we had video of a doggy up at a, a park in Portland playing earlier this on this morning show right. and taking in a lot of water, drinking a lot of right. water, and we don't realize that that really can be quite harmful. Right. It's, it's called hyponatremia, where they wash all their salts out of their system. However, on the other hand, if the dogs go to the beach, they can get salt intoxication. So you need to be careful if about letting them the drink. Salt water. Right, so bring a lot of fresh water with you. I love the ice water, also ice cubes. If they won't drink, because you can't, like you were saying earlier, they can't lead a horse to water. You can't force your dog you to drink. You can't force your dog to drink, but you can give ice cubes, or you can wet their food down a lot. I'm a huge advocate of moist food anyway. I think it's really important. That's not easier to dry. for their bodies to digest, right? Right, right. Especially if they're eating dry food in this hot weather, that's a no no because they can become dehydrated. I'm not a big fan of dry food anyway. I think we need the moisture balance for them. But again, you can get the polar opposite, the hypernitremia. And pigs, pot belly pigs, are also extremely prone to that disease. They call it salt poisoning in pigs, and they can die from that. Dr. Jill, she is the one with the answers. If you have questions for Dr. Jill, we have all the information for you there on your screen, drjyl.com, 916-989-0738. Dr. Jill, always informative. Thank you. Thanks. And thanks for bringing